You're welcome. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. From Uzungo Lake. So it turns out we're pretty much in the Turkish Alps. Yeah, it is super green, super cloudy, and pretty cold. Uh, this, this place is, look at this. This is absolutely crazy. It's so green. We're only here for one day. We're just gonna explore as much as we can. This is a very small town. It makes our hometown of Sedona look <laughs> huge. Uh, if you saw our video yesterday, we got here very late at night. So we really haven't explored any of this town yet. Mm -mm. It looks pretty touristy, but it's absolutely stunning. I think you chose to go to this town based on one picture. <laughs> what do you think? Is it what you expected? Um, it, it's, a, it's as pretty as I thought it would be. But yes, I based our entire trip, all the driving yesterday, off of one picture of the lake. And it uh, turns out this is the end of the season here. So I would say like 80% 80, 80 of the businesses are closed. <laughs> I think it feels like an abandoned carnival. Yeah, there's like amusement parks back there and like little kitty rides. And every 50 feet or so, there's one of those machines where you punch the thing to see how strong you are. Like this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That's just like the weirdest thing to have everywhere. I don't, uh, it's very unique. I have done this in the past where I've made us change our entire, our entire trip based off of one picture. Back in the Netherlands, I made us go camping by a castle because I really wanted to go. Okay, but honestly, at the same time, some of our best experiences have been just going into a place blind. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I've never really... It's an interesting town. It feels like Disneyland uh -huh. in a very remote valley in the mountains. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Here's another one. This one's playing Queen. I like this one. <laughs> At least there's really cute dogs here. We made it to the center of town. It is real pretty. Look at this view. That is the view that uh, made us come here. <laughs> There's a big mosque back there. We walked by there earlier. And then behind us, that's kind of the rest of the town back there. The stuff that we were showing you just a second ago. So I Googled the top thing to do here and it's to hike to a viewing platform right up there and then see the whole town from a bird's eye view. Right there. How are you doing? I'm still sore from 
the hiking cap does, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so like 200 steps later. We're on this platform. They've got some jams up here. Yeah, it's This place nice. is fairly busy. Yeah, it's on the whole town. <laughs> That's where everyone is. This is, this is really cool. I'm glad we came up here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go try to find lunch now. So we've been in a few restaurants and they're kind of pricey, which makes sense. This is a touristy place, a Turkish breakfast in Istanbul costs around 250 and here it's like 10 to 15 dollars so I think we're just gonna go to the supermarket and uh, see what we can find what do you want to get I don't know what do you want to get I figure it's cold enough outside that ramen was justifiable. Mm -hmm. These were 25 cents each. Oh yeah, so good. <laughs> it's just wrong. We also got peaches, <laughs> so <laughs> there's some healthy food in here. All right, you guys, so we did want to address the fact that uh, we have not been very consistent with our posting schedule. Pretty much all of year two, like the last two months, it's just been a hectic time. It kind of just got kicked off when we caught COVID in Portugal. And anyways, we're trying to get on top of that. One way we're doing that is instead of editing at night after we're done out in the day and then staying up till about midnight editing, we're trying to get some editing done like in the morning and then a little bit in the afternoon, just kind of space it out mm -hmm. and be a little bit more efficient that way. Editing is just one of those things that keeps getting longer and longer and longer. <laughs> There's always something more to learn, and something more to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's quite a bit later. And unsurprisingly, uh, we're hungry. <laughs> we're gonna blow the, bre the rest of our budget on dinner someplace in the town. But it looks so cool at night. <laughs> take the camera away from Trevio because if it was up to him we'd be out here for hours and you guys would have a 20 minute montage of moody rain scenes. The lighting is so and good. It is really nice but I am so hungry. So now it's time to find a restaurant that uh, we can afford. <laughs> Usually I have some kind of intro uh -huh. but really hungry so we're at this restaurant and we're eating outside and this is the food we got it looks really good this is just kind of like a stir fried chicken with some bell peppers onions and some seasoning we got extra rice and bread just like to carb it up because we're cold it looks like turkish fajitas oh it does look like fajitas okay oh my good lighting went away mm -hmm. That actually tastes super close to two fajitas. Is that, is that okay to say? Oh, yeah, man. I'm glad we got extra rice. She has Japanese side. We're in Asia. It's okay. <laughs> we also got something called kuimak. It's a regional dish here in 
the northern Black Sea region of Turkey. And <laughs> look at this. It's cheese and cornmeal with I think a few spices, but it's basically just cheese and cornmeal. Oh wow. The closest thing I could compare it to is like really cheesy mashed potatoes. Ooh, it's it's like salty, but it tastes like mozzarella cheese. And the cornmeal is basically, I think, just there to kind of hold it all together. This is really good. Also, we got some salad. We ordered a double salad, which is huge, because we ate ramen today. <laughs> and believe it or not, we actually guessed that this town would be kind of expensive when we came here. So we specifically found an Airbnb with a kitchen. And there are absolutely no kitchen utensils at all. There's just a hot water pot and some cups. And we asked the owner about it, nothing. So we ended up eating ramen while we're here. But I'm glad that we splurged on this. I think all of this stuff for both of us, it was like $15, which is pretty good, honestly. Most of the restaurants that we looked at, it'd be like $15 per person. I'm gonna eat now, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Our budget while we're in Turkey is $75 a day. That's what we're shooting for anyway. That's why we've been talking about budget so much today. Little picturesque towns like this one are always kind of challenging on a budget like that just because when they're really touristy, they tend to be really expensive. Mm -hmm. But I'm really, really glad that we came, if even just for two nights. I had no idea that Turkey had anything like this. Not at all. It's just stunning, so. Thanks you guys for coming with us today, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Subscribe! The area has been identified through the studies carried out. I think they ran out of spaces. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> you look so stupid. You look so dumb. It's getting wet. What Tia didn't tell you is that she's also been shopping. See you guys tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Subscribe! <laughs> it was so loud.